Hello. Today, the 28th of Elul, two days before Rosh Hashanah, our daughters, Ahuva and Rina, reached the age of Bat Mitzvah. In honor of this occasion, Rabbi Asher asked me to present today's video in Tshuva and to use this as a way to explain how the girls will mark this occasion. Very soon on Rosh Hashanah, we will come together as a community to start the high holiday season. The prophet Isaiah says the following regarding this time of year. Seek God where he can be found. Call on him when he is close. The obvious question raised by this statement is, how can that be? Call on God when he is close? Isn't God always close? Our sages answer, God is always close to us, but only at certain times are we close to him. Our sins separate us from God. When through repentance, through tshuva, we put our sins behind us, we again come close to God. And certain times are known for putting our sins behind us and bringing us close to God. The high holidays culminating in the Ne'ila of Yom Kippur, a bride and groom on their wedding day, a convert at the moment of conversion, and a child when he or she reaches the age of Bar Bat Mitzvah. Ruth, the most famous convert to Judaism, is a striking example of one who put her past behind her and came close to God. Ruth's actions resulted in her becoming the great-grandmother of King David, from whom the Messiah, our ultimate Redeemer, will emerge. Ruth's example starts in the famous story of her conversion to Judaism, where she puts behind her her past of idolatry and worship of strange gods. In the famous statement where her mother-in-law Naomi is trying to discourage Ruth from coming to join the Jewish people, Ruth says the following, For wherever you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people are my people, and your God is my God. After Ruth achieved her clean slate with this commitment to conversion, she used it to continue to grow in her pursuit of mitzvahs. This culminated in the scene on the threshing floor with Boaz, the elderly judge and leader of the Jewish people. Boaz says to Ruth, You have made your latest act of kindness greater than the first, and that you have not gone after the younger men, be they rich or poor. As we approach the high holidays, we hope, through tshuva, to put the sins of our past behind us as we turn to God and pray that he grant us a clean slate so that we again can be close to him and have a year of growth and observance of his mitzvot. Our girls, Ahuva and Rina, are receiving the gift of a clean slate as they reach the age of bat mitzvah. It is our hope and prayer that they will build upon this clean slate and create a record of achievement of mitzvot that will bring them close to God. Pirkei Avot, the sayings of our fathers, says that the world is built upon three things, upon the study of Torah, upon the service of God through prayer, and on acts of loving, loving kindness. During their bat mitzvah year, Ahuva and Rina will be working on each of these th three pillars. They will be working with their friends to start a letting write, letter writing campaign as a source of comfort for girls their age that have suffered from terrorist acts in Israel. They will be working with Rebbets and Asher to create a, and to illustrate their own bencher, and they will be studying the text of the benching with Rabbi Asher. A year from now, at the end of their bat mitzvah year, we look forward to celebrating the bar mitzvah of their triplet brother, Nisi. At that time, in addition to celebrating his bar mitzvah, Ahuva and Rina will share with you the results of their efforts during their bat mitzvah year. 
We wish you all a Lashana Tova. May you be written and sealed for a good and healthy year.